Good day viewers, uh, welcome to another mathematics presentation. This is your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. So right here with me, I've got 2023 mathematics paper 2 for internal candidates. So I want us to look at uh, question 3b right here. So this is the question we're going to answer. Let's see how we can answer it. So um, the question reads, the nth term of a geometric progression is given by 180 open bracket, 1 over 2, close bracket, to the power n. Find the, so A, they want us to find the first three terms, okay? So we are going to answer first question, okay? Then we find the first three terms. So we need to take note of this uh, nth term that we have been given, 1, 18 brackets, 1 over 2, raised to the power of n. So uh, since they want us to find the first three terms, okay? So if you have uh, the sequence, which will be like this, term 1, term 2, term 3. So these are the first three terms. So what we are going to do is we are going to write the nth term. So the nth term that we have uh, is 180 in brackets. We have half raised to the power of n. So to find the, this first term, we are going to say n is going to be 1. This is the position of the term 1. So we we'll use this nth term where we say 180 in brackets, half to the power 1. So what I've done is, here where, where there is n, I've replaced with a 1, because we want to find the first term, okay? The first term, which is T1. So from here, we are going to say 180 times 1 over 2 to the power half, we get the same 1 over 2, okay? We get the same 1 over 2. So from here, you can say 2 here, it's a 1. Uh, 2 into 18, it's a 9, okay? So meaning 2 into 180, it's 90. So we have 90 times 1. So this will give us 90, okay? So this tells us that our, this tells us that our term 1 is equal to what? 90. So we need to find now term 2 and term 3. So if you want... Uh, if you want to find term 2, where there is n, you can substitute with 2, position of the term 2. For term 3, you substitute with 3. Now, what we can do is, when you look at this nth term, we know the formula where we have, uh, where we have nth term is equal to ar to the power n minus 1. So this common ratio is this half, okay? So, we can use that one, it's fine, okay? Where we say, uh, to find term 2, we are going to say, the common ratio I've said it will be 1 over 2, half times the first term, in this case it's a 90, okay? So, term 2 will be equal to 2 here 1, 2 into 9, it's a 4, remainder 1, 2 into 10, it's a 5, meaning that 2 into 90 is 45. So 1 times 45, 1 times 45. So my term 2 is going to be a 45. We can use this, okay? So here we have our term 2, which is equal to a 45. So if you don't want to use this, you can consider the first method where I said you say any any is going to be presented by 2, which is the position of the term, okay? It will still give you the same value where there is 1, you put a 2. You get the same value which is a 45 okay so since we have found our term 2 let us found our third term so i'm going to say t3 is equal to the common ratio which is half times okay so in this case uh we are going to use our second term which is a 45 to come up with the, the third term because in geometric progression we cut or we multiply the common ratio times z uh, the previous term to find this next what term. Okay, so here we say t3 equal to we say 1 times uh, 45 you get 45 over a 2. Okay, so here we are going to say t3. So you can leave this as your as your answer or you can leave it as a decimal number. You say 2 into 4 it's 2. 2 into 5 it's a 2. Remainder 1. 2 into 1, it can't you add a 0. So here you add a point. 2 into 10, it's a 5. 
Okay, so therefore, our first three terms, we have uh, term 1, which is 90, term 2, which is a 45, term 3, which is a 22.5. So these are the first three what, terms. All right, so we've now come to question B2. Question B2 is find the common ratio. So they want us to find the common ratio. So remember what I said, to find the common ratio, there's no need for you to, to calculate, okay? Just say, uh, the common ratio presented by the R is equal to half, okay? This is our common ratio. Why? Because we are given the nth term, which was simplified. So this uh, common ratio is going to be half. When we go back to our formula, which is uh, AR, AR power N minus 1. So this is the common ratio, okay, which is half. Now, for common, the, for the first term, we can't say 1A to be our first term. No, because this was the nth term, which was just simplify, simplified. But this half, so one that is raised to the power of A, N, okay? So this half is the, the common ratio. If you want, you can calculate by using your first term, which is um, a 90 right here, okay? You can calculate it using the same form, formula if you want. So we have answered this question. Let us now answer uh, Roman numeral 3. All right, so we've now come to third question. Find the sum to infinity of the progression, okay? So sum to infinity, we need to come up with a formula, which is uh, sum to infinity is equal to A over 1 minus R. So let us organize our data. So A is the first term. In this case, our first term, we found that it's 90. Then R is the common ratio, which is half. So let us just substitute. So sum to infinity is equal to, where there is A, you put 90 over 1 minus half. Okay? So uh, let us work out the, the denominator first. So our denominator is 1 minus half. So over 1, common denominator is a 2. 1 into 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is a 2 minus. 2 into 2 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So this will give us 2 minus 1. It's 1 over 2. So we are having half right here. So I say sum to infinity is equal to 90 over half. All right. So from here, we can say sum to infinity is equal to 90. Okay. In case you are wondering, what I've just done is this is 90 over 1 over 2. So I've uh, re uh, wrote it like this. Okay. Using this. Division sign. Okay. So from here, we can say sum to infinity is equal to 90 times 2 over 1. So when you change this division sign, what happens to this fraction is that this denominator will become the numerator. The numerator will become the denominator like this. So from here, we are going to say sum to infinity is equal to 90 times uh, 2, it's 180. 1 into 180, you still get 180. This is our sum to infinity. So we've come to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much, everybody, for having time to view this content. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. Bye-bye.